welcome back students to one more session of your nomenclature in the previous video i taught you what actually is the classification of isomerism isn't it then i taught you about uh, structural isomerism or constitution isomerism then i've also taught you about stereo isomerism isn't it yes please watch the previous video and then come back to this video right here i picked up a worksheet again hope that is uh, clear for you all right so let's start working on this and then start finally you will come to an understanding how to name a compound right here they're given us draw and name the cis and trans isomer trans cis and trans condensed the structure of this right very interesting question let's see now first of all they've asked me <coughs> to draw the cis and trans condensed structure so this is the structure given i need to draw the condensed form of this that means this is the whole structure i need to condense it and write it as in the cis name cis form and name it transform and name it done now your concentration should be on this double bond fine yes so here first pick up the double bond right c double bond c here also take the other side c double bond c now around the carbon around the double bond how many of our groups are there this is one methyl group on this side here this is a uh, ch2 ch3 isn't it and there is your h also isn't it to this carbon to see here to this carbon this carbon i've written here now what else is there ch3 is here one group h is in this group so i'm going to write ch3 on this group this h on this side now what do we have you have ch3 c, c this is ethyl group that is ch2 ch3 and the hydrogen which is here is here isn't it now both the groups are on the same side that's why it is cis isomer now when i have to draw the trans one two three four lines done the same structure this ch3 is here now this ch2 ch3 will come on this side and hydrogen is here and it comes on the opposite side hope the concept is clear students this is the condensed formula now i need to write the name of this compound yes so name of this compound how to write basically this is cis isomer so write cis done hyphen 2 in the second carbon we have first carbon second carbon we have double bond 2 how many totally 1 2 3 4 5 so it is pentene now this one how to name small t trans 2 pentene hope the concept is clear students done now let us name this name the following alkenes including cis and trans for the alkenes that when appropriate okay they are asked us to name this if there is cis you need to mention it as cis if it is a cis isomer otherwise name it normally so here this is a uh, group given to me how should i start naming i should see in such a way that the alkene is getting a minimum number means the double bond is getting a minimum number so start numbering one two three four five five means pent so which position is the double bond it is in the first so it is one pentene done students yes now let's come back and do the next one yeah let me shift the page above a little bit so that even the second question and third question is visible visible to you all done so what is this compound here in the b part again there is a double bond so i should see that uh, the double bond gets the minimum number so i should start from here one two three four five six seven hept so it is one heptene done let me uh, start with this so this particular example hope the example is clear to you all yes here two things you should see what is this there is a double bond here there is a substituent so the double bond should get a minimum number so i should start from here one two three so this is three four Okay, let me number one, two, three, this is four, this is five, this is six, this is seven, this is eight. Eight means what? It is oct. But there is a double bond here, a third carbon. So it is three octene. So where is the substituent? Seventh. So you need to write seven methyl hyphen uh, dash three octene. Done? Yes now let us come back and do the d part this one the last uh, this example Fine. so here they asked us if there is a cis isomer you need to mention that cis isomer they said isn't it 
So here I am able to see a cis isomer because both the hydrogen atoms on similar side, both the methyl groups on similar side. So name this, whenever you have a cis isomer, start with cis. 2 hyphen. So 1, 2. In the second carbon, you have double bond. How many are there? 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is 2 butene. Clear? Yes, students. Done. Let us come back and do some more very interesting uh, concept hope this is uh, clear i have a lot of examples here let me do this these examples one after the other right. now in this e question let's solve this question now what do they give me a big chain is given to me nothing don't uh, nothing to worry let us see see how can we name it first of all i need to see the longest chain when I have to see the longest chain, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. No need. Why no need? Because there is a double bond. Which position is a double bond? This should get the minimum number. Suppose if I start from here, 1, 2, 3, 4. This is the fifth carbon. Suppose if I start from here, 1, 2, 3, 4. So I should start from here. 1, 2, 3. Because this should get the minimum number. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. It is no need. So, which position? 1, 2, 3. And this is fourth position. So, the double bond is in the fourth position. So, which isomer is this? See here. H and H are on the opposite side. So, this is trans 4 no need. Correct? Yes. Now, let's come back and do the fifth, uh, F part. Yeah. Yeah. In this compound, what do they give me? First, I have to see, is there any double bond? Yes, there is a double bond. Then I have to see the longest chain. Done. So, if I count from here, I, I, one more thing I should remember, the double bond should get minimum number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, it is hept. Suppose if I start from here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, when I start from here, 1, 2, 3, 4. The double bond is getting fourth number. But when I start from here, 1, 2, 3. So, 3. So, the procedure is this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, uh, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, name it. It is cis isomer. Because, why is cis isomer? Yeah. Just see here. The bonds here, on this side, similar groups. This here. Around the double bond, this is one curve. This is one yeah, that's why it is cis 3 heptene. Right? Yes. Now, we will learn all the three structures now at once. Here, they have given us one hexene. I need to draw line bond structure, condensed structure, and skeletal structure. So, all will be clear to you, all students here. Just see. Draw the, uh, they have asked me, take uh, one hexene and draw the line bond structure line bond structure means it's a straight structure just right so it is one hexene so one two three four five six so this is one hexene that means this is the carbon so this is the first carbon this is one hexene now in hydrogens around carbon four hydrogens one okay this is four for this carbon done for this carbon done for this carbon h means total should be four see here one two three four one two three four like that four for this carbon only one hydrogen because one two three four bonds for this carbon i have two hydrogens this is line bond structure or bond line structure suppose if i have to do the condensed structure condensed structure is nothing this see here i'm writing the condensed structure one just uh, instead of writing the hydrogens like this, we will write it as CH2, double bond, CH, CH2, 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 CH3. Count once. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Because it is hexene. Now, in the skeletal structure, I need to represent the 6 carbons, isn't it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Where is the double bond? It is present in the first structure. That's it. This is how you are going to represent the line, bond line structure, condensed structure as well as your skeletal structure. Now let us do this example. 
here what did they give us they've asked us to write the bond line structure for four isopropyl two methyl one nonene okay so four isopropyl two methyl um, and one nonene they said okay let us write four isopropyl a bit you know it's going to take place let me write so four isopropyl group they said and nonene nonene means nine carbons one two three four five six seven eight nine a bit congested it is no problem and they said four isopropyl two methyl so one two this is two this is three this is four so in the second uh, carbon you have methyl group two methyl so methyl means ch3 h and h one two three in the fourth carbon you have isopropyl group what is isopropyl group here again you have prop three carbons along with their hydrogens one uh, hope this is not congested students i picked up a thicker sketch pen that's a problem yes so here h here h here h now for this carbon h this is over now fill the hydrogens for all this is what i'm not writing just i'm mentioning the dashes h h h h h for this one two three so one h for this one two h and h for this one two one two three four for this <coughs> One, two, three are there. There is one more H. So this is how it is. I am not representing the hydrogen because lack of space. So in the condensed structure, how should I write? CH2. This is a double bond, isn't it? So there should be a double bond here. Because this is a nonene, one nonene. So this should this bond will not be there for this. And does this have this also will not have bond. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Right. So I am writing the condensed structure CH2, C, CH3. CH2, CH, CH3, CH, CH3, after that, after CH to CH2, there is no space. I'll extend this here. CH2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, <coughs> 8, 9. I have extended the structure here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. <coughs> this is the condensed structure. Now I am drawing the skeletal structure here. Yes. This is the skeletal structure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Easy, isn't it? Skeletal structure is easier. I <coughs> hope the concept is clear, students. Now, let us take one more example where uh, I am going to write for what which structure is this? Cis 2 hexene. Okay. Cis 2 hexene. They have asked me, right? I uh, hope this is uh, the example is clear. I will start writing now. Cis 2 hexene, how to write? Fine. Uh, <coughs> but they said uh, in line, bond line structure cis isomer will not be denoted only in the condensed structure will be showing that fine so cis to hexene one two there's a two hexene so three four five six now hydrogens hydrogen 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 one more here one more here for this carbon if i have to take this is over around the double bond one two three one more here for this carbon only one here and for this carbon h h and h right so one two three four five six so cis that is right cis here now and then structure c double bond c on this side how many are there one two three four so write it as CH2, CH2, CH3. Because after double one you should count. Only three are there. So three. Down is H. This side is H. This side is CH3. This CH3 is here. This H is here. 
no skeletal structure i am drawing it like this yes this is the skeletal structure of cis 2 hexene now let us take uh, one more example i have two more examples left let me do that also here they've asked me trans 2 butene isn't it right so bu uh, trans 2 pentene sorry pent means 1 2 3 4 5 done they said 2 pentene so in this particular thing this is first carbon this is uh, second carbon after second carbon 2 now filling hydrogens 1 2 3 for this carbon here and here for this carbon when i take 1 2 3 4 are there 1 for this carbon 1 2 3 4 1 for this carbon h h and h now i said in bond lysis and trans can't be de denoted in the bond line structure it means only it will be dis uh, shown in the condensed structures or skeletal structure so write down c, c four groups trans means the group should be on opposite side this hydrogen this hydrogen i am taking it here this ch3 here this whole group ch2 ch3 ch2 ch3 done skeletal structure i am just denoting directly yes why did i show you here because <coughs> opposite sides see here this group is here this group is here now let me do the last one cis 2 methyl 3 hexene okay so because there's no space here i will write it here hexene 1 2 3 4 5 6 now the set cis i can't show cis here in bond line structure isn't it i need to show it only uh, here in condensed and skeletal <coughs> so this set cis 2 methyl is it first one second carbon in the second carbon you have methyl group h h h now this it cis 2 methyl 3 hexene in the third one 1 2 methyl uh, third there is a double bond done right let us fill the hydrogens 1 okay 2 methyl 3 hexene done okay hydrogen 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 for this 1 2 3 4 for this carbon 1 2 3 for this carbon 1 2 3 4 for this carbon all three hydrogens hope this is clear students now i need to write the condensed structure so one cis this it so cis means same side c ch2 ch3 down h here it is ch ch3 ch3 down h see here this group and this group are on the same side that's why it is condensed structure now in the skeletal structure yes now see here both are on the same side h that's the cis isomer hope the concept is clear students i have picked up a lot of examples so this is your nomenclature that is your bond line structure condensed structure as well as skeletal structure so thank you for watching students stay connected and meet you again in the next concept that is one more type of isomers to be written